Bernie Sanders is apparently still around, although he hasn't been in the news for years since he was a ringleader in the Democrat circus back in the 2020 presidential campaign. But because it's Labor Day weekend, MSNBC decided to bring him on air to confuse their audience about why it is that we're experiencing all this inflation. Look, people are catching on that the inflation that we have gone through really had not all that much to do with the war in Ukraine or broken supply chains. It had to do with the fact that... It had to do with the Federal Reserve creating trillions of dollars out of nothing since we're not on the gold standard anymore and then lending it to the government at interest who then gave it away to Ukraine and spent it on COVID relief since the American people couldn't go to work because of the mandatory COVID lockdowns, thus drastically increasing the money supply at levels that we've never seen in American history. It had to do with the fact that corporation after corporation whether it's the oil industry, whether it's the food industry, whether it's those people who own large amounts of housing, raising their pro raising their prices and making huge amounts of money. So I think workers are organizing. They want to join unions. When they're in a union, they're fighting for a decent contract, and that's the right thing to do. A decent contract like UPS drivers now making $170,000 a year. Because unions are basically modern-day mafias. They've outlived their usefulness back when there were no labor laws that were necessary in order to create safe and fair working conditions. But the labor laws have all that stuff covered, and so now, basically, they are a racket. If you work for UPS, congratulations. But you know that this is insane, and this is a terrible sign of things to come because... This is a symptom of the massive inflation that we're experiencing. And at this rate, in another few years, a Toyota Camry is going to cost a quarter million dollars. And unlike Bernie Sanders says, this is not because corporations raise their prices to make a bunch of money. They raised their prices because the cost of goods kept going up because, well, the dollar is getting weaker. If you missed it, watch my in-depth report from last year called It's a Conspiracy Fact, a brief history of the Federal Reserve which I'll leave linked up in the description below. Bernie's confused about a lot of things, however, not just the economy. And, and yet, what I would say to you, Ali, in terms of the campaign that's coming, we've got to ask ourselves a very simple question. How does it happen that somebody like Donald Trump, who has been impeached twice, indicted four times, is a pathological liar, and I think most Americans understand is corrupt. You know what? He's running even to Biden in the polls. Uh -huh. What's that about? Well, it might have something to do with the fact that this is his competition. Thank you. All right. I am going to Florida. I am going to. I'm going to Florida uh, Saturday morning. Where am I going now? Yes, and he does this all the time. Sure, you've seen the clips of his staff giving him note cards with specific instructions on them. <laughs> Where am I? I'm right here, sir. I'm right here. Right here. Okay. Stay tuned because there's plenty more to cover this video, but a quick heads up my wanted for president shirt has been updated with the authentic original Trump mugshot. So order yours from my online store, markdice.com, or click the link in the description below and check them out. Now, this is CNN from back in July. The chance of Trump winning another term is very real, they warn. And this is from The Atlantic yesterday. This is a big leftist rag. I think it's owned by Steve Jobs' widow. Why Biden just can't shake Trump in the polls. National polls, as well as surveys in key swing states, consistently show Biden and Trump locked in a dead heat when voters are asked about a possible 2024 rematch between them. He can't shake him because, well, half of the country are complete morons. The other half are not and see through this ridiculous political persecution. And it's just galvanizing support behind Donald Trump. Chuck Todd over at NBC's Meet the Press is upset that the liberal media industrial complex has failed at creating a self-fulfilling prophecy trying to doom Donald Trump's campaign. A self-fulfilling prophecy, by the way, is when somebody believes something that's not true. And then because of that belief, the way they act then actually makes it true, when initially it was not. I think one of the things that we, we messed up in 2016 collectively was a failure of imagination in believing Donald Trump could win. And it became conventional wisdom that he couldn't win. Well, we're creating this conventional wisdom that he can't lose this Republican primary. And all I would say is, is the next six months 
There are so many unknowns that we should be very careful here making these assumptions. If the fourth trumped up indictment, no pun intended, hasn't sunk his campaign, then nothing will. And that's what the Republican establishment was whispering into Ron DeSantis' ear, trying to convince him to get into the race. They thought that once the indictments came, that Congress and the American people would abandon Trump and he would have to drop out of the race. But that turned out to be the worst advice that Ron DeSantis ever took. We want Trump. Okay, listen. Okay, that's just a meme that didn't really happen. Somebody dumped in the chanting into another clip. But things are so strange that it is hard to tell a joke from something that's actually true because, well, I'm sure that this is going to happen on the campaign trail. Did you see the cover of last week's Time magazine? <laughs> Does this ride ever end? And because of the indictments, especially because of the mugshot, Donald Trump has gotten a wave of endorsement from a bunch of rappers. In fact, this guy goes by Bad Man Kivo, decided to get the Donald Trump mugshot tattooed on his leg with the caption, Make America Great Again. One of the most interesting things about the 2020 presidential election is more black people voted for Donald Trump then than they did back in 2016 despite the liberal media industrial complex smearing him as a racist nonstop for four years, it had literally the opposite effect they intended. And Jesse Waters Garbage Man is definitely a subscriber of my YouTube channel. <laughs> What's up, bro? The mugshot has breathed new life into the Trump campaign and broadened his appeal to black Americans. Over the weekend, with the help of mugshot merchandise, the Trump campaign raked in over $7 million. Today, my garbage man told me he's buying mugshot t-shirts for everyone he knows this Christmas. That's great. Order them this Labor Day weekend and get free shipping by using the promo code MAGA at the checkout. You gotta admit, this is the coolest t-shirt of all time. So order yours from my online store, markdice.com, or click the link in the description below and get free shipping this Labor Day weekend by using the promo code MAGA at the checkout. Before this shirt, my favorite was actually the Abraham Lincoln Trump shirt, but now Gotta say, this by far is the best. So head on over to markdace.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code MAGA at the checkout to get free shipping this weekend. And check them out!